In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can create JSP CRUD application. So CRUD application will allow you to add the data into database, select the data from the database, display the data on a JSP page and provide option for deleting the data as well as modifying the data. So this is going to be the project architecture. Then we are using a table called users and we have user bin which is used to map the data from the users table and store in the user bin field. So this user bin is used for transferring the data between DO class, data access class and the JSP page or servlet. So it has a string ID, first name and last name and getters and setters. Then we have a class called connection provider which actually connects to the MySQL database and returns the connection object to the calling function. Then we have user DO class. So user DO class is actually getting the connection from the connection provider class which is this one and it has got functions called add user which is calling the insert into users SQL statement and passing the values and then executing the query. Then we have remove user function which is being called from the JSP page and it executes the query delete from users where user ID is the supplied ID. Then we have edit user function which updates the data into the database using the prepared statement. Then we have get all users which returns the data from the users table in the form of user bean as a list. Creates the object of user bean, sets the data and then add it to the users list and finally returns. In case to display to display the data on the JSP page we have a get user by ID and this is loading the data from the database by the user ID and then it creates the user bean object and returns the user bean object. Then we have a user handler servlet which handles the request in our application. So in, in case of insert we are using slash user JSP in case of edit the edit.jsp will be called in case of user record list user.jsp will be called user handler is getting getting the object new do and these are the do get methods with some logic for insert this is the case for delete this is the case which is deleting the data from database and in case of edit form it is redirecting to some other edit page and then this is the edit and to list this is called and finally it is forwarding the appropriate page and this is the user.jsp which displays the user data then edit.jsp which displays the edit record then we have list user which lists, lists the user and web.xml file in the web.xml file we are creating the user handler servlet using the class net.rosindia.handler slash user handler and mapping the it to all the request to user handler and if you run the application you will get this form this one and then edit and this is the list you can download the source code in the eclipse format i will add the source code here and you can directly run it in the eclipse so if you want to create the project manually you have to create first web application dynamic web application then the so in the source directory you should include these uh, packages and these and under each package we have different classes so this is user bin class then we have user do class which contains all the methods for database operation then this is connection provider class and this is the user handler servlet now this is the web.xml file and here we have defined a servlet and the mapping for this servlet is slash user handler edit.jsp which is which edits the data index.jsp provides a link to add user form then list user which lists the data and the user.jsp which simply displays the user form so i will provide you the source code in the eclipse project format if you run this as a right click then run as run on server then click next and finish so this is the add user form and this is the data in the database user id 2 
to add update click on the link here so this way you can update and to delete click here data will be deleted and the page will be refreshed so this way you can create the crud op application in jsp so you can download the source code from here we have thousands of tutorials on jsp for java advanced java servlets ajax hibernate spring and many other frameworks visit our website and learn from these tutorials thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel